Okay, so now it's time to upgrade into a VPS server. So I highly recommend you to get a fully managed cPanel server instead of a self-managed. So this way, just in case you have any questions and you don't know how to resolve it or how to do stuff, you can escalate to the support personnel. They have a lot of sysadmins who really know what they're doing. So you're not all alone and you're in good hands. So again, get a, uh, a fully managed server instead of a self-managed server. So here we go. I just got a VPS server. So I'm just going to set it up together with you all the way from the login here. This is my first login. I never, I never logged into the server before. So let's go ahead. Put in my root username and the password which i already saved login okay so next we have to agree with the terms of agreement here just scroll down and hit i agree future showcase app config enforcement log archiving by default server usage analysis yep i want those okay so for these additional new features i want to enable enable all of those this is for a more secure server so it is much harder for anyone to actually try to abuse your server so i would recommend you to enable those and um, go ahead with the settings I'm going to save the settings and especially for club coder because it's just for testing or, or learning how to code we don't want anybody to try to abuse our server and like send out spam emails or people or kids trying to attack other servers so we want to put um, as strict of security policies as possible for the server so i'm going to enable all of the settings and save the settings so it's going to try to apply the new configuration, updated feature summary, and looks like it's done. Whoa, that's pretty quick. Okay, so we are now on the main dashboard of um, our VPS. We got a whole lot more menus you see on the left there. Well, don't get overwhelmed, especially when you are on a fully managed VPS server. You don't have to know what exactly each of these command do, but eventually when you're managing your server or playing with it for quite some time, you would get familiar with all of these. All right, so, so this um, whole setup, I'm gonna try to uh, break it down to the ones we just need to initially um, migrate our reseller accounts from the other um, server or our reseller account into this VPS server. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's start from the basic configuration on the top left here, basic cPanel and WHM setup. Click there. On this particular page, I will start configuring this whole server with its standard settings unless otherwise in the future um, we realize that we need to tweak or update a setting for adjusting to a particular need on on our own project so we're going to use a default settings as this is a fully managed vps um, i'm not overly concerned about the settings of the server as if something is going on the monitoring um, on the network or or data center of this web host will pick it up and they will be able to log into the server and do what is necessary so i just want to update the contact information here here is the all tab you see all settings here but let's break it down to contact so i'm just going to change this to my email so in case something happens i will get notified so i'm going to change this to my personal email or you can create a 
new email account specifically for this purpose but make sure you monitor this email account okay so enter one or more cellular phone or pager email addresses to message via email for me personally i just use this email address so i'm going to leave everything else blank you can fill it out if you want if you have icq or um, aim or any other settings there now this name servers this is already good but we make some changes before didn't we when i set it up and record the initial setup we use dns1 and dns2 so depending of the name server you used when setting up before do the same thing there and i'm gonna save the changes here so there we go the system has one free ip so that's basically the basic uh, setup that we want to do right so that's it now next i don't want to change the root password and i don't want to configure the automated cron jobs for now i want to do an initial quota setup here okay click there and proceed so it's just setting up everything quotas have been enabled however they may be not up to date as quota check has been skipped that's fine so we already set that up server time i want to use uh, pst so change time zone let's change this to america it's depending where you are so when you get a notification or you view the log and stuff you would know um, exactly what time it's happening because it's your own time zone so i'm going to change this to pst and i'm going to change time zone there we go so that's done statistic software configuration now depending on what kind of um, project you're setting up for a club coder we're gonna stick with the defaults okay we're not gonna add um, additional burden to the server by adding this additional um, statistic software also people nowadays they can just plug in google analytics codes right tracking codes they don't even really need this statistic stuff so you can even you know not change anything here i would say so let's move ahead move ahead on tweak settings here well we have quite a lot of um, configurations to set here but as i previously mentioned i'm going to stick with all the default settings okay so we are not actually going to change anything much on this server um, stick with the default settings but in the future in case we need to tweak something i will definitely post it in the project 1000 update videos and you can have the the same changes as well if it applies to your own project okay so for now all the tweak settings i'm gonna keep it and leave it as it is no changes will be made here right now okay so that's why i keep telling you it's important to get a fully managed uh, vps or a dedicated server even a cloud server just get a fully managed one okay so now let's go to update preferences I want to have this I want to change this part I want to always have have the stable um, release instead of the release version so my server will always be running on a stable cPanel release okay so I'm gonna change that to stable and save you should do the same as well I think the system have saved your settings any changes will take effect when the next update runs do you want to update now sure um yeah sure we can we can also check that to send um you know feedbacks to cpanel and let's hit the update now button it's a good things to make your um surfer up to date all the time with your current settings you will be upgrading to the latest stable build force a reinstall even 
no we don't want to do that so let's give it a shot so it's gonna run I'm not going to record the whole thing but just wait it out until this whole thing is finished to a hundred percent okay so now it's um, 12.58, almost 1 o'clock. We'll see when it's done. I'm going to pause this right now. Completed. So it's actually just about 3 minutes to finish the whole update. So it's pretty good. Okay, so we have updated to the latest version. I'm going to collapse this once it's done. Um, hmm, if I sh scroll up. Okay, server. That's update preference, right? So I'm going to actually collapse that support configure customer contact let's see below you can configure the information that will be presented to a cpanel user a website owner when they click help so this would be your whmcs support email okay so you can put this to your own um, domain so i'm gonna put club coder.com right slash submit ticket submit ticket dot php answers remember we set it up at club coder dot com some so billing and sales we're gonna leave this blank or probably have it all the same I'm gonna copy this copy that and this is going to go to the same support ticket I'm gonna save changes here it's done support center let's see what we have here we have resources okay looks good contact C panel this is our support access number just in case if you need to contact C panel directly to troubleshoot your issue but if you have a fully managed vps or dedicated server or cloud server just contact your web host whenever you're having any issues they should be able to help you out so that's that so support center is done i'm going to collapse that collapse that networking setup change host name i don't want to do that but right now it's clu.clubcoder.com which is the host name um, let's think okay I think I'm just gonna put club and a random number but I'm gonna use 777 club 777.clubcoder.com pretty good so this um, you can uh, use any kind of name but remember it it cannot start with a number and just uh, read the instructions over here and hit change so now we're going to change the host name to club 777.clubcoder.com okay looks good so that's done so let's change host name name server IPs okay let's see what we have here this function have moved so cool we have ns1 and ns2.clubcoder.com which is this is our existing name surface right now so that should be fine that should be fine for now but uh, we will make a change later on I'm not gonna uh, I'm gonna separate those in a separate videos okay now park a domain perform a dns cleanup reset dns zone set up edit domain forwarding this is operational stuff not set up stuff synchronized dns record is good for um, synchronizing multiple servers if you already have more than one vps or dedicated servers you want all the dns records between all all those servers to be synced up all the time we'll we'll, we'll do those kind of stuff later on um, probably on a different um, Udemy course once the club coder project has already have that like five six servers I'll show you how the whole thing works so right now this is all good I'm gonna go back up because it's just 
jump down there IPs resolver configuration let's check that out this wizard will guide you through setting up your resolver configuration sure we want to set that up okay this is already set up by the web host or the provider so I'm not going to change anything there it may mess up the whole um, resolver so I won't touch that so just leave it alone I'm gonna skip next security center so we have a whole bunch of security settings here but I'm not gonna change anything I'm gonna skip this whole thing as I trust that this VPS is already a fully managed server so that's good to go but in case in the future I need to change something I will definitely show you and post it in a um, Udemy update video and you can definitely um, see what's being updated okay so I'm gonna skip this part now security center server contacts um, we've done that but let's take a look so the email is set that's the only part that I'm concerned so I'm just gonna save the email nothing changes there edit system mail preferences so here I'm gonna put in my email address again so every time you fill in your email address just hit the change button first okay oops go back there again and just copy this thing so nobody's mail gonna be forwarded to root and root forwarded to there so that's good cpanel's mail just change it to there as well okay so server context is done close that resellers okay this is operational stuff as well change ownership of an account change ownership multiple accounts edit reseller name servers email all resellers manage resellers ip delegation manage reseller shared ip reseller center reset resellers so it's all operational stuff where we won't be touching um right now so i'm going to skip this whole thing okay so now um service configuration this is all the the web server mail server database server and um, um, all other ftp server configuration we won't be touching those as well so i'm going to skip this as well locals um i'm not going to touch that as well for now back up we want to definitely back up our server but i'm going to separate that section into different course a different uh, video course so i'm going to close that to cluster remote access not for now we we don't want to reboot the server now no server status this is if you want to check out the status of your server server information you want to see um, what you got there right as you can see I have like about just um, this much of memory oops this much of memory and this much of disk space which is not so much but it's good for getting started okay surface status you can see all the dots there it's all up right it's looks good so close that up to account information it's gonna be blank still since we don't have any accounts created yet so okay let me go through this whole navigation and I'll let you know um, if I'm gonna change anything at the bottom there okay it looks like we're not gonna change anything for now so packages we will be transferring our existing accounts from the reseller account but it will automatically create the packages for us DNS functions this is operational SQL services IP functions software we're not going to change anything there email nothing there system health this is for operational stuff as well I'm gonna skip that it's not setup stuff cpanel branding I don't want to touch that because 
We want to get our kids or our students to be familiar with the cPanel brand because if they switch host or they are looking for another web host later on, um, they they know that they get, they can use a cPanel server because they're already familiar with it. So I'm not not going to change the the top header or or the the whole color scheme or of stuff. Just leave it as it is, default cPanel. So I'm not going to touch the branding. SSL, we won't touch that now. Restart services, nothing there. Development, skip that. Plugins, not for now. So <laughs> we're pretty much done here. Well, this is because I am using a fully managed VPS server. So I'm not overly concerned with all those settings because um, the server is fully monitored by our network operations. So if something happens like the CPU spikes or the database crash, they, uh, they which is the, the web host, will actually log into our VPS servers, check what's going on, and actually fix the situation for us. But that does not happen if you go with a, a self-managed VPS server. So that's why I, I always recommend you to go to to a fully managed VPS server so you don't have to concern with all those kind of stuff you can just focus on running your business so I think that's pretty much it for this particular video next we are going to actually migrate everything from our reseller account including the main club coder website into this new brand new VPS server and I'm gonna show you how how it's all done and yeah it's gonna be pretty fast so I'm gonna end this video now and I'll see you in the next video